I'm Julia Borston, and I'm at the Allen & Co. Conference in Sun Valley, and I'm joined now by NBC Universal Vice Chairman Ron Meyer. Ron, thanks so much for talking to us sure. today. Um, so you're here at the conference. Um, it seems like one of the big topics here is Brexit, and a lot of concern that there might be a slowdown in Europe and how that could affect various businesses. How much are you concerned about Brexit, potential European slowdown impacting the movie business? Well, at, the, at the moment, we, you know, we really don't know what's going to affect us or not. I mean, obviously, I think probably the entire world is, is, I don't know, concerned is the right word. I think everybody has the same curiosity. What, what will it mean and what will it not mean? Um, you know, we're not English subjects, and so I, I don't know exactly what it means. Obviously, a lot of people in London uh, in England thought that uh, Brexit was the right decision. So we don't know yet. We're, we're waiting to see, and I, I, so far we don't really know that it's going to affect us or not. You must generate significant revenue from box office um, from overseas, and also you have probably have a lot of tourists who come to your parks. Um, what's your sense of the U.S. economy? Do you feel like the U.S. economy and U.S. consumer is strong, and then also the European economy? Well, look, I, I'm a, a, an optimist, so I, you know, you probably know much more about what the, the forecast of the economy is than I do. But I think that we're, you know, we feel very optimistic about our films. I think the film business in general feels good about it, and our Tourism from Europe is sensational to the park. So, you know, we haven't seen any slowdown. We haven't seen anything that would alarm us at all. So I think at the moment, everything seems quite good. It's pretty good. And you recently uh, um, opened a new attraction at Universal Studios Hollywood that we got mm -hmm. a big a big kick off out of. Um, how's it going so far with the new Harry Potter oh, attraction? It's fantastic. I mean, it, it really is an extraordinary attraction. And business couldn't be better. I mean, we, we also opened a, uh, you know, Fast and Furious attraction on the tour. and in Hollywood and we've opened up a uh, uh, our new King Kong in uh, Orlando so we're feeling very good about our business. How does the success of these new attractions inform the way you think about expanding the parks business going forward? Well the parks business keeps growing I mean uh, tourism I think is an all-time high we're you know we're gonna build a park in China and our park in Japan is doing great business has a Harry Potter attraction there as well and I think we just feel quite optimistic about it business has been great. And uh, even with these potential issues with global economic issues, you're still not concerned? We're not seeing any slowdown at all. So, you know, I think that we have a, a, a great, well-priced product and people are enjoying it. Um, now let's talk a little bit about the movie business. Last year you had a record year. You guys have had some big hits this year, but what's your sense? Are you going to be able to reach last year's numbers? No, we're not going to reach last year's numbers. Last year, as of the moment, we had the highest business of any studio in history. So, no, we're not going to reach... Last year's, we were having a very good year, and we, you know, last week we opened Purge, which did quite well. This weekend we opened Pets. Uh, our next film is, is Jason Bourne, so I'm very optimistic about our future business. And um, do you have a sense of movie going, if we'll see movie going decline or movie going increase? We've been seeing a lot of sort of theaters trying to invest in yeah. more bells and whistles. You're going to get all Pollyanna answers from me. You know, <laughs> I, I'm very optimistic about the movie business. I think that, you know, we, like every studio, we have to be probably better than we've ever been before. Uh, the audience is smarter and more demanding and, and expecting better from us, and I think we have to deliver that, and I think we're all prepared to do that. I won't speak for the other studios, but certainly, you know, we're well aware of it, and I think that we have a, the product that shows it. And I know you can't comment on the details of the DreamWorks animation deal, but tell us, why does it make sense for Universal to have this acquisition? Well, I mean, through Illumination, which obviously does the Minions and which do Pets, and. Uh, the you know Despicable Me films, uh, they they do two films a year. We have loved the animation business, and having a second animation company just ensures us that we'll have four films a year. Uh, so that takes care of that one aspect of it. It's two more movies a year in that animated area and children's area. And we, you know, they have a great television business. They they have, you know, characters for our parks and attractions for our parks. We have a, uh, a you know, I think there's a, a tremendous amount of synergy in these two companies, and I. I feel very good about it. We're hearing from a lot of folks here, <clears throat> excuse me, that the tech companies are increasingly interested in the media companies, whether it's making partnerships for content or even perhaps for buying media assets. Are you having any conversations here with the tech giants? No, you'll have to ask them. <laughs> Great. Ron Meyer, Vice Chairman of NBC Universal, thanks so thanks. much. Really Pleasure. appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Julia thanks. Borston in Sun Valley. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.